Well, so when we gave our uh, results, uh, which we did in uh, mid-December, uh, we forecasted accelerating uh, growth. We stand by that. Um, and so we see a robust U.S., as we mentioned uh, in our call, uh, pretty, st pretty stable around uh, the rest of the world. Uh, there's a good investment environment for projects that make, uh, that make sense. And so we continue to uh, be very optimistic about uh, our business. As you know, we're going through a transition to the cloud. Uh, that's gone very well for us. We're gaining market share, and we continue to believe we'll see accelerating growth as we go forward. Accelerating uh, EPS growth, I'm presuming. Uh, you're talking about Mark. Is that well, correct? Certainly accelerated yeah. EP, well, certainly, certainly accelerated EPS. Now, you've seen double-digit EPS growth from Oracle over the course of the past six to eight quarters. So our EPS growth has been uh, substantive, and it's been consistent. Uh -huh. uh, what I was talking about, actually, Melissa, was revenue growth, accelerating okay. revenue growth as we go to the, what is our Q3 and Q4 uh, in the next uh, two quarters. Accelerating revenue growth. Okay, because so some, some analysts are saying that, you know, on, on conference calls, Mark, management is is extremely upbeat and positive in tone, but investors are, are growing frustrated with a decelerating revenue growth trend at the same time when you're emphasizing uh, accelerating EPS growth, when you're buying back tremendous amounts of stock, shrinking the share count uh, out there in, and improving earnings. So what do you say to them? Because, for instance, Nomura Instant is saying investors are, are getting impatient with this. Well, I, again, I can't comment to each individual analyst and what their point is. Again, I'll stand by what I said. We've had uh, uh, accelerating double-digit uh, earnings growth, but what I just said and what we said on our call was accelerating revenue growth. So uh, I stand by that. And as you know, I, I think you know, but as in our company, we have things that are declining and things that are growing. Our cloud business is growing substantively. It's growing much faster than the company's growth rate. So as those businesses that we have uh, stop their decline as we exit them, it becomes really much easier for us to grow our revenue growth rate. And this, these transitions take, take time, but within it, if you start to look at the market share we're gaining within the context of our applications business uh, and our database business, we feel great about the company and its future to accelerate revenue well, growth, which will actually have a added effect on earnings. One last question on the business, Mark, if I might. I mean, you, you've, you've, you've ably pointed out sure. the, the transition to the cloud. That's one area of, of competition where you've got formidable competition, but in the applications business, Tell me a little bit about that as you compete against Workday, as you compete against Salesforce and others. Where, right. How much share are you gaining right. there? Pretty substantive. So if you look at the applications market is about $125 uh, billion. As that market moves from the traditional on-premise to what you'd call software as a service, if you will, the cloud, that market actually grows substantively because the SaaS business now does more. It does the server infrastructure, storage infrastructure, data centers, et cetera. Right. So that market grows and we're growing, we're growing our business substantively. If you look at the back office of applications is about two thirds of that overall market. And when you look at what we're doing in a category called ERP, which is basically back office and HR, we're just growing faster than anybody else uh, in the marketplace. So we're very excited about our position in applications like we are in database, but to your point in applications, this market is gonna go through a complete renaissance over the next several years and Oracle is gonna be the leader of it. And spending a little cash on the stadium now, too. Larry Bear, let me bring you in on this. Uh, there is a big uh, Chase Center coming, multi-billion dollar stadium there. Do you feel the need to compete with that? How are you going to up your game for fans now on? Oh, I mean, we're really excited. This is a 20-year partnership with Oracle. Uh, I mean, the way we look at it is, look, we are in Silicon Valley. Within a 30, 40-minute drive from here, there are companies changing the world. One of those companies is Oracle and we're partnered with them for the foreseeable future. Uh, we've had 20 years of this ballpark and had World Series championships and had a National League sellout streak, consecutive sellout streak of 530 games, so it's been a great history, and we couldn't find a better partner to take us into the next two decades than uh, Mark and the folks at Oracle. They've been a longtime sponsor, and uh, we, uh, we made a quick deal for uh, for 20 years. The fog there looks makes it look like candlestick today, uh, Larry. You know, <laughs> I would just say this. I would just there's point a little fog here. There's Tony little... Bennett would like today. Yeah, you like bet he here. would. I, I would merely point out, Mark and Larry, that Oracle Arena has been the home of three of the last four NBA championships. I am sure that that is going to transfer immediately to the San Francisco Giants, right? <laughs> well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. 
The Giants have World Series championships in 2010, 12, and 14. I have a $1 bet handshake with Joe Lacob, the owner of the Warriors. Who's going to get number four first? So we're at three. They're at three. All they, right, their big, three were with Oracle, so now we bring Oracle to us. We'll get number four. All right, big. Spender. These guys, by the way, I should say, tell you, these are. This is an iconic franchise. Larry and his team are great, as are the Warriors. Um, it's such a great opportunity for two local uh, comp, uh, teams, organizations, to, if you will, partner together. Um, this is a great group to deal with. We could never have put a deal together the way Larry talked about it being fast, but it was fast and thoughtful uh, because the depth and the trust in our relationships have, have gone on for years. So great, great group for us to work with. As you know, Oracle's not a newcomer to Silicon Valley. They've been here a long time, and we, we value the relationship. Uh, Mark at the press event was sitting next to uh, mm -hmm. talk about tradition and icons, Willie Mays. Wow. So the address here is Oracle Park 24 Willie Mays wow. Plaza.